Hi, folks. On this episode, I'm joined by the Universal Print engineering team to take a deep dive into the cloud printing service Universal Print from Microsoft. But before I start, please make sure to subscribe on our YouTube channel, Windows IT Pro, to stay up to date about all the latest news about Windows 365 and Windows in the Cloud, and as well on our website on aka.ms slash Windows in the Cloud. So with that, I'm very excited to introduce our guests with you, Sarab and Issa. So hi, Sarab. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Hi, everyone. My name is Sarab, and I work as the product manager with the Universal Print Engineering team. Yeah, it's great to have you. And I still remember like two, two and a half years ago, we have been part of another episode, which was called Desktops in the Cloud uh, three years ago. Now we are doing it with Windows in the Cloud with Windows 365. So very glad to uh, to have you back again and talk about all the latest news and as well Universal Print. And Issa, um, glad to have you back too. Can you introduce yourself real quick? Hi, I'm Issa, Lead Product Manager for Universal Print. I've been at Microsoft for 20 years. You might be seeing my crystal there in the background, the 20 year crystal. So I've worked on many exciting projects. Recently I was in office and now I'm at the Universal Print team. It's a great project and a great team. Yeah, thanks this and Sarap as well for the great introduction. And I'm I'm very excited about Universal Print because it really modernized printing and removes the friction and the the, the, the manual steps and everything that you need to do to yeah to configure printing, maintain it, and all those drivers that come along as well. So we are here to uh, yeah, to dive deep into that. But before we do that, could you level set the audience, the IT Pro audience here, what Universal Print is? And maybe from a high-level architecture perspective, explain the components that are moving to the cloud and as well what resides on the edge, on the endpoint side too. Yeah, I'm excited to talk about Universal Print. It's always exciting to talk about new technology that simplifies the user experience, uh, the administrative uh, administrator experience, and the experience for partners. Universal Print is designed to help customers do more with less. It enables admins to reduce the infrastructure cost by migrating to the cloud, and it reduces the need to manage custom drivers on user devices. Universal Print, as you know, is a cloud solution is developed on top of Azure and comes with Microsoft 365. The best experience is when there is a printer that connects directly to Universal Print. These printers are available from many manufacturers. They connect to, directly to Microsoft 365 and enable Azure Active Directory users to print without a server in the middle and without custom drivers on their machines. And it's all based on standards with PSA, print support applications, which we will demo in a minute. It enables advanced settings via modern Windows applications, UWPs. The print industry has been moving to serverless and driverless for many years. And now with major printer suppliers creating both universal print ready printers and PSAs on Windows, we've moved from a plan to true serverless and driverless product in market. It's an exciting new era for print. We are working with the major print manufacturers and they are enabling printers to connect directly to Universal Print. Customers don't have to buy new printers to use Universal Print. Some existing printers have firmware updates that connect to Universal Print or applications that install on the printer itself and enable the printer to connect. But if there's no firmware update or an application for the printer, uh, you can still connect to the printer, an existing printer, to Universal Print. There is the Universal Print Connector. It's software that comes with Universal Print. And the software runs on a Windows PC or a Windows Server and enables the existing printers to connect to Universal Print. And admins can migrate slowly. They can keep their printers on servers and use Universal Print at the same time. This way, they can try Universal Print without like migrating in one shot. From a security point of view, Universal Print enables printers to be on zero trust network setup. This reduces risk. Data handling is in accordance with Microsoft security and privacy practices. Universal Print is a great experience for users. End users don't have to install custom drivers on their PCs. They also don't have to have uh, go into the settings and add a printer in the Windows settings because the admin can do that for them using Intune. With Intune, the admin sets it up, and then when the user prints, 
it, the printer will be available for them. It uh, simplifies the experience for end user and it reduces support calls for the admin. Users can print in the same way from Windows 11, whether it's on x86 or Windows on ARM or Microsoft 365 or Azure Virtual Desktop. Since Universal Print is serverless and driverless, it works the same way from all of these. Hey, thanks, Lisa. This is really great and really helps to explain to the audience, hey, what's Universal Print and what are the benefits and the simplifications we do with all those great partners you just mentioned. But now I really would like to see it in action and uh, throw in some demos. And I know, Sarap, you've been preparing some great demos for the audience. So can you explain and show how Universal Print works while connecting to a cloud PC via Windows 365? Absolutely. We start by connecting to a cloud PC and logging in with Azure AD credentials. Let's go to the printers under settings and add a printer. Ensure that the dropdown has worked printers. Windows return two printers that logged in user has access to. Select the Xerox printer and add it. This printer is added and can be seen at the bottom. It says app available for this device. This means that the printer was added and an application was installed for this printer. We will talk more about this application called PSA later. Let's now print. Open the calendar app, click on the print and continue. After selecting the universal print printer, Click on More Settings. This launches the PSA that was associated with the printer. This PSA was published to Windows Store by the printer OEM, in this case, Xerox. Xerox app provides all functionality and rich custom workflows for the given printer model. We select the required options and continue printing. Thanks, Rob. This is great. And I have been an IT admin for virtualization environments myself, and those printer drivers have always been kind of very difficult to manage. So what are you doing to simplify printer drivers? Are they being used like custom made for the OEM or are those more like universal and easy to maintain? With universal print, we don't need drivers. Printers are added without any driver. Print now works on in the industry standards referred to as Internet Printing Protocol or just IPP. This protocol provides most print operations and functionality. Xerox application provides features that are offered only by Xerox and not covered in the standards. In the traditional world, Xerox will do this using the drivers and now they're doing it with the application. Thanks, Rob. So does this mean that the user's printing experience remains exactly the same as when a user prints on a physical printer via a print server, like a legacy printing environment, while they move to universal print? Yes. Uh, there is more, unlike print drivers, which um, ID admins have to worry across different Windows architectures, uh, with PSAs, OEMs publish the same application across all architectures in the Windows Store. The architecture may be x64, it may be uh, ARM, or it may be the cloud PC, as in this case. Yeah, that's great. And great to see that all those like, challenges that I was facing in my kind of career configuring printers are all solved with universal print. And what I've heard as well is that you guys worked with the Intune team to simplify printing assignments for universal print to just make it as easy as configuring uh, policies in uni for universal print in the settings catalog of, of Intune, right? So can you tell a little bit more about that and show maybe the audience as well how that looks in, uh, in Microsoft Intune? Yeah, I will show that. I will show it using the click-through. The th click-through is available on print.microsoft.com and gives the whole experience um, without having to set up anything to just let people uh, experience universal print. I'll use that to show how Intune is used. So usually there are two admins. One is a print admin and the other one is an Intune admin. Sometimes it's the same person. In this case, I'm going to start in the uh, universal print portal uh, as the print admin and collect few information and send them to the Intune administrator. I want to also 
pick this uh, Lexmark printer and configure that so it's available for users on their devices. So let's start. We can get to this Lexmark printer, collect few pieces of information like printer ID, share ID, and the printer share name. Now that's it. Now we go to the endpoint manager section. So what we want to do here is create a new profile. We could edit existing one, but in this case, we want to create a new profile. So now we go to the profile, we pick the platform, we pick for Windows 10 and later because it does work for Windows 10 and Windows 11. Set the type and that's it. Now we have a profile. So now we give the profile a name, call it universal print settings. and the add settings to it. So, and from a settings point of view, we want to add printer configuration. So that exists already. So if you type printer, you can find the printer provisioning and pick that. And in this case, I'll pick all the metadata and that's it. So now I want to put the information about the printer. I put that all in the clipboard. So now it's gonna populate through the clipboard and go next. Next, we want to select the user groups who we want to provision. In this case, I'm gonna pick a group and it's an Azure Active Directory group. It's the universal print users in the organization. Pick that. Now it's done. So I have my assignment. Next, the scopes. I skip that in this instance here. And then I look at uh, what I've done to review it and create. And now we're back at the top in the configuration profile. Now all what needs to be done is done. So when users go to uh, print, they can uh, open the application they want to print from. And then when they hit print, they'll find that Lexmark printer already available for them. And in this way, they didn't have to add printer in the settings. They just print when they need to. Hey, thanks, Issa. This is great and really shows the simplicity from both the platform, the, the, the service side, as well as the configuration side for IT admins. And we have as well followers that uh, configure, of course, Windows 365, but as well Azure Virtual Desktop or maybe a combination of both. So um, is everything you just showed as well available on Azure Virtual Desktop? Uh, yes. With Windows 11 22H2, we have made improvements in the print on AVD. The print on AVD has become seamless. By that, I mean the admins don't need to configure anything and the users print through AVD just like the way they would print through any other Windows device. Specifically, we worked on three areas. One, we worked on the multi-session where if the user is connecting across different sessions, they continue to see their printers and they continue to print from that. They don't have to install printer on each session. Two. If there are multiple users connecting to the same host on their for their uh, virtual sessions, they see their own printers. They don't see the printer of other users. And lastly, we talk about the location. As you will understand that in AVD case, the, the actual device is hosted in a data center. We don't want to find printers close to the data center, right? We want to find printers that are close to the actual user. So for AVD, universal print looks at the actual location of the user and not the location of the Windows device. In addition to Azure Virtual Desktop improvements, we've launched, we've launched some exciting new features recently. The first one is Delegated Admin, currently in public preview. That helps large organizations delegate printer administration to each entity within their organization using Azure administrative units. For example, a global organization can have printer admins in the US manage only printers in the US, whereas admins in Europe will manage printers there and so forth. Or if it's all the organization in one country, but has many branch offices, it's the same thing, but at the branch office level. Also, we've enhanced the usage reports in the Universal Print Portal and added new metrics there. 
Well, this is great. Great work by you and the team and all the devs that have been working on those features. And this is something that happened. So that's great. Available today. But what about what's next? Like what's on the roadmap? What's, what are the exciting things that you can share with the audience here as yeah, well? We're working on so many features. I'll share a little bit of information about a few of them. For example, going forward, admins will be able to configure their printers such that users uh, must show up at the printer with their mobile phone and scan a QR code to release the print job. This reduces waste from uncollected printouts. We are also planning to launch universal print for US government customers this year. This is a big project, we're excited about it. Uh, further, we're investing in tools to help admins identify print-related uh, problems and be able to mitigate them quickly. That are amazing features that come. So I'm definitely curious, like what's after that? So I definitely want to have you back at some point. And for the audience that wants to learn a little bit more about Universal Print and take a deeper dive, even as that we did on this episode, uh, where can people find more information or maybe connect with other folks as well uh, to join the discussion and get technical help? Yeah, a good question, Christian. Um, we have a very active uh, community and our uh, customers can reach out on that community. Uh, myself, I, I kind of try to make sure that I read through every post. Um, the community is uh, at aka.ms slash UP community. You can also reach us at Twitter with if you look for Universal Print. Uh, personally, you can reach out to me on LinkedIn and you can search me by my first and last name, which is Saurabh Bansal. Uh, I'm also available on Twitter. Yeah, me too. Please reach on uh, LinkedIn or Twitter. And uh, thanks for having us here, Christian. It was really great to talk about Universal Print. Thank you so much. Yeah, thanks, uh, Sarab. And it's uh, great to have you back and really great to see all the innovation and improvements you guys made in the last couple of years. So I definitely use uh, Universal Print as part of printing jobs that I do at Microsoft Campus. And it's so easy. So uh, keep up the great work. And thank you as well for watching again to Winners in the Cloud episode number five. So really great to see you back. And if you're a new follower, please go to aka.ms slash winners in the cloud to catch up on previous episodes as well. So thank you for watching and hope to see you back next episode. Thank you. Thank you.